Hi, and welcome to Cheeky Richard Cooking's Filet Mignon. We showed you carpet bag steak last week, and now it's the fillet's turn. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. We've got some gorgeous big slabs of fillet steak here, and we've got some nice long rashes of bacon and they're quite thick they're completely different to the american style and we've just cut them into strips and we're just going to secure those with a toothpick we've heated the oven to 200 degrees celsius and i'm just going to put these little toothpicks around to hold it into position so that the bacon doesn't unwrap itself and then we're going to fry it in a little butter and olive oil. The reason that we add the olive oil to the butter, it increases the smoking point of the butter so it doesn't burn. So it gets a bit of a brown crust on it and the oil will give a nice flavor as well. But the butter essentially contributes more to the flavor. So we've just got that steak done. We've got another one here, just lay it out, leave the fat on it, lots of flavor in the fat, cut it off when you eat it if that's your thing. And we just wrap our bacon around that's a little bit short that one stab yourself it's not pleasant and just use the toothpicks to secure it to the meat toothpick. don't forget to remember how many toothpicks you put in there because you're gonna have to remove them before you serve it otherwise someone's gonna get a bit of an unpleasant surprise okay that's two put that to one side and lucky last Wrap that bacon on the inside of it so that it works and then secure it with the toothpicks like the other two. We've got a visitor coming for dinner tonight. Okay. Okay, our gorgeous steaks are prepared. We've also got a mushroom we've filled up with pesto. Showed you that in a different video. One each. I'm going to make a little bit of herb butter to go with this because I just think it tastes gorgeous and we're going to pop it in the freezer while our steak's cooking and it'll make a little, little round herby buttery disc and we'll just pop it on top of our steak, just melt all through it and drizzle down the side, give it a gorgeous freshness. Okay, we've just got our butter here, we're just going to put a bit of freshly cracked pepper into it and our veggie salt, give it a bit of extra flavour, chop up some herbs, mix it all through it and roll it in a little sausage. Into the freezer we go. Okay, we've just put some oil in with our butter over medium high heat. When it's nice and hot, we get our steaks. We put them in, touching the sides, and then when it goes in the oven, it's going to also cook the edges as well. A couple of minutes on each side, so like a nice brown crust on them. We're going to sprinkle it with some veggie salt and pepper as soon as we turn it over and it's in the oven about five to seven minutes depending on your preference of done that. Okay, we're gonna flip it over now and you should have a nice brown crust on it. Okay, five minutes later and this is what you should have. It's really quite springy, medium. Cook it to your level of doneness. We've just sprinkled some fresh pepper and some veggie salt on that. And we're just gonna let it rest in the pan, keeping it warm. We've mashed our sweet potatoes with some parsley and I'm going to show you our yummy cabbage. Okay, we've got cabbage here that has just been fried with some bacon and some apple and some spring onions. And we've got some <laughs> gorgeous fig glaze here. Now I've made my own balsamic glaze, but this is really Really quite nice very thick and gives it a gorgeous flavor so just a teaspoon or two swirl it around and it a nice flavor a little bit of color mm, smelling really quite aromatic yum oh it's ready now we've popped our mushrooms and our sweet potato onto our plate with our gorgeous cabbage here comes our steak make sure you remove those toothpicks and we're just going to slice our herb butter I'll just pull these toothpicks out to start with stiff sort of shrunk to the meat okay now we've got our little butter roll here just get about a centimeter slab of it and unroll that and just pop it on top of our steak and that will melt down and it'll be absolutely divine hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of cheeky richard cooking's filet mignon or steak wrapped in bacon if you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richard channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon have a little taste shall we where to start where to start now don't worry about if it's a little bit pink around the edges because the bacon will actually color it that way we've got so much more to show you and we'll upload lots of videos
thanks for watching. The juices are relaxed back into the meat. And there you have it. It's a well done steak. Thanks for watching. Mm. So tender, packed with flavour, absolutely delicious. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>